Hello, CS Arts. This is Mr. Antavada, and I would like to show you how to make a Desmos graph of this square. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over here and hold down this when I click it, and that way I can change the opacity to make it a little bit more faint so that when I draw my lines, they are a lot more visible. Uh, this is a square which has four line segments. In order to make the line segments, first I need to make lines that fit those. So I know that all lines follow the form y equals mx plus b, so I'm starting there. Ask me, do I want to add sliders? Of course I do. I'm going to change this to be purple because I'm going for this purple square right here. Um, I'm going to try to get this line right here. And I know that it's going downhill from left to right, so therefore I need a negative slope. Let me try that. It's pretty close. I'm going to raise that y-intercept. Ooh, that is pretty close. Wow, I did not mean to be that accurate. Um, let me try this a little bit lower. Okay. Um, let's see if I try. I need to make it a little bit steeper. So let me try negative 0.3. That's too steep. How about negative 0.25? That's pretty close. Let me lower this. 4 is too small. 4.1 is really close, actually. Okay, let me change this back because it's now too steep. Let me try, all right, negative 0.2 is too flat. 2.1, 2, 2.2, 2, 2.3. Pretty good. And now I can tell that I've got a little gap in here, so I need to bring the y-intercept down a little bit. So 4.1 is too big. Let me try 4.05. Let me raise it up a little bit, 0 06, 0 07, 0 08. All right, I like that. So I've got a line, and that line is y equals mx plus b, where the slope is negative 0.23, and the y-intercept is 4.08. All right, I have gone ahead and entered in the other line that is parallel to that one. Uh, so now I need to get this one that's perpendicular. Um, I know a little trick about perpendicular lines. Their slopes are negative reciprocals. So the negative reciprocal is going to be really close to 4. And let me try now. Right now my y-intercept is 0, and I need to scoot it up to be right here. So let me try plus 5. That's pretty close. So I'm just going to adjust that the same way I adjusted the last one. Um, the slope is a little bit too big. How about... Ooh, that's pretty close right there. Um, okay, that's, that's pretty close. And my y-intercept is now a little bit too tall. So I'm going to drop this down to like 4.8. Tall enough. 4.85. Ooh, there we go. All right. I like that. All right. I had, now have my four lines. I like what I've got on all four lines. I think they go through the shape pretty well. So the next thing I'm going to do is change them from line to line segments. The way I do that is I need to restrict the domain of the line. So I'm going to start with this line right here uh, that's going to the bottom. I want it to start here and end here. And notice as I just mouse over those points, if I click on them, it's going to give me that vertex. So um, what I want to do is I want to put a restricted domain. The way I do that is I put a little squiggly brace, which can either be found near the enter key, or you can go up here. I don't see it, so I'm going to click ABC. And it is right here, the squiggly brace. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here. Close that. Bring that down. All right. If I click here, it says negative 2.133. So I'm going to go negative 2.133 less than or equal to x. And notice how that cuts it off on the left side. I'm now going to cut it off on the right side at negative 0.0564. So I'm going to type in less than or equal to negative 0.564 and then squiggly brace. And that seems to have done the job. I just need to do that for